welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. <laughs> and I'm Johnny B. And we are modeling for, for advantage. advantage. So today we're going to talk about Kill Team. Oh no, hang on. Hang on. No! War Cry! Arr. Let me hear you War Cry, John. Arr. So, um, I that look was more, at that box. That was more constipation than I don't know about you, John. I think it's important to talk about the box art. Mate, sold. It's got dudes. Hammers. Look at this. <laughs> Massive, big, red, bulging, barbarian I love type dudes. oiled up men. Beating. Oiled up men <laughs> is what we like right here on the hammers. channel. With hammers. And... And little helmets. Yeah, yeah. But also, but it kind of, you know, it looks like a chaos wasteland that they're fighting over. It's like, these guys are fighting hard over a bit of shit bit in the of middle nothing. of nowhere. As for some dickhead over there. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the goblin missions has to recover a bottle. Because they don't Seriously? have enough bottles. It's that shit. Don't have enough bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? Um, I, love, I love that. They've done a good job on the box up. And this box, it's a beast, isn't it, John? It's a bit large, like you. I think it's the first Warhammer product I've had with the new Warhammer logo. I didn't know it's the little Warhammer logo that they've got down here. I now. didn't it's not, even notice that. It's not Citadel Games no. Workshop, it's Warhammer. Right. Why not? What's so, uh... so this game set in the Age of Sigmar universe, Chaos Warbands beating the shit out of each other, right? All to gain the favour oh, right. of the, the ever-chosen Of the ever-chosen dude. Ever -chosen dude. Because the Sigmar's got a story, right? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, there's a story in Sigma. Um, I just want to get big, muscly dudes hitting each other with hammers and rolling lots of dice. Furry pants, big hammers. Furry pants, big I'm going crow. I'm going crows. Anyway, enough of the shite. Let's get this thing going. It's heavy, you know. It is heavy, this thing. Good quality. Good quality card. Look, it's even damaged the inside of the box. There's that much stuff in here. Let's plop that over there. Is that interfering with the shot? No, no, but you are. So, uh, should we start? We we'll start with the scenery. What yeah? is all this? This, this is like five sprues deep, mate. What? Wah! Wah, wah, wah! What we got? You what take we got? The big Give scenery ones. ones. I want to snip you start it. fingering the scenery and sort it out into piles, Holy and I'll get. So I, I like furries, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I need to just go on the floor. This, oh, this yeah. is all the terrain, then. That's all the terrain, mate. Yeah. All the terrain. How that, much? How much is this kit retail? Hundred quid. The box. I think it's a clean hundred. I think it's a clean hundred. Mate, Obviously, I got it for less. That's that's two sprues, I think. Normally. Normally. But those battlefield in a box were about fifty quid yeah, or something. No, exactly. that's the Flames of War one. What were they called? No, there was battlefields. Um, the Kill Team Battles. Kill Team Zones, Battles. Which battle they're doing zones. very similar with this. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. So this is crazy. So there's a giant broken statue. There's a Michael Majerison head. Yeah. Uh, modeling for advantage head that was kind of so we're modeling. gonna we're showing you these briefly but actually john's gonna take a lot of pictures after this and we're gonna in, yeah in still so you can have a look um, and i'm gonna try and keep the still the frames in the right order for us to do that and um, so the big giant head then john which it's got head. on the stack is that sigma mate that's you that that could be me i'm pretty that sure it's you i've actually i've actually shaved the viewers may notice i'm going for a boyish good looks at the moment i've got a haircut but you left, left, yeah. left, oh you did left my neck beard you did. left the neck beard of course of course loads right. of sigma stuff right. so this is this is the china stuff you can see that what the sprues are all thicker it's not quite as good but it's good enough it's good enough I mean, I'm going to dry brush and agrax the hell out of That's fine. Stuff. I think that's all you need. That's all you need. Loads that's of little gates, need. loads of ruins. So we've got several, several sprues of walls, doorways, Wall, port that colises, the same as that. That's nearly identical, that one. That's the same as that. Is, is that another duplicate? Yep. Yeah. So that's those two, which is good, because that means you get yeah. a nice core of uh, stuff there. And then the, <laughs> ding, the, the ding dong bell. <laughs> the skelly bobs. Skelly Bob's covering up his private parts, you see. He knows he's been photographed, so he's, he's covering his yeah, modesty. What's, what's that all about? Some more dudes there. I think they're, 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 they're in gibbets, aren't they? And, and some stuff. of them are. They're all, they're, they're all dangling there. Oh, yeah. There's even more. So, uh, Chaos Bells, then. Oh, they've actually had their hands bound. Skelly Bob's now. everywhere. Skelly Bob's. I'm having skeletons as my army, mate. Well, ding dong Look bells. at all these. What, the spiky bits? Spiky bits. All a bit chaos. What do you skulls call those? in there. What do you call those I mean, it's, it's nice to get something from Games Workshop that's got a few skulls to decorate right. here, isn't it? They've, they've I mean? proper been lacking in skulls yeah, of recent. In skulls. But at least it, this is the In the, the Kill right. Team scenery, all the edging had skulls on it. Mate. 
Man, yeah. that is a whole chunk of terrain. That is a whole chunk of terrain. Now so, there is something to say about this. What, three months' time? You're going to have that done? Mate, I'll be wearing my apron this <laughs> afternoon. I'm going to knock this stuff out. Get on it. I want to get playing. Yep. Yeah, we need to get playing. I don't know how I'm going to paint it, though. Uh, we'll have a look. It needs to be different. We've got an awful lot of brown and grey terrain, so uh, yeah, exactly. We'll maybe mix up. It needs to be in keeping with the board. We'll have a we'll have a look. See have a little board and have a conversation. Have a little game. Now, cautionary note: did watch a few of other people's videos on this stuff. As I suspected, <clears throat> if you remember the kill team scenery, you got it, there was an instruction booklet that tells you how to build the kill team scenery. Yeah. You then look at the missions and it tells you how to lay out the scenery. Right. There were pieces of scenery in those missions that you didn't build. And you used all of your terrain. What, in the kill team stuff? In the kill team stuff. You reckon it'll be a similar state? I know it is, because I checked it. You've had a look. I had a look. Now, there are people out there, and if I can find it, I'll put a link in. Maybe there'll be a YouTube link right now. Maybe there'll be something in the description. If I can find it, there are people. So some of the things, for example, these ladders in different <sighs> missions are required to be attached to different pieces, so you need to not glue these on. I remember right. that one. Okay. And the head, the big giant head, in some maps, it's got like a like a plinth on top, almost yeah, like a pulpit, yeah. and on some it's just freestanding. So you need to model this. You, if you want to play the, exactly as they're laid out like that, you need to have a look at these people who've done the work. Right. You can do it, but you need to leave some bits separate, or even give it to John and get him to magnetise it all, mate. He's, he's totally doing that. No, I've gone off right. magnets now. That was the scenery. So, we're not going to talk too long about the war bands themselves. You've all seen that stuff. You've all seen already. that stuff. But also, I mean, everyone is going to do that. I think we look at the war bands. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got the war bands in here. They've got cards. I'll give you, show you an example. Um, but the thing with the war bands, I think it's more useful for us to do separate videos looking at the war bands after we've actually played the game. You get the two war bands in the box, but they're the things everyone's seen the pictures yeah. of. We'll show you some pictures if you haven't, but fundamentally, the things that we haven't really seen, we haven't seen before, is the wee beasties. Ooh, so we look at the beasties. So the beasties are on like a twin sprue, and you're getting the um, Raptorix and the Furries or Furies. I like these ones. So the Furies are models that we've had a model for before in Games Workshop. It's just a not really old one. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. for a long time. It's like a harpy type thing. Is it Zinch or...? No, I think it's just un unaligned. It's unaligned just chaos. chaos beast. Chaos beast. Beastiness. Well, these Raptorix, well, look worth looking at these. They've obviously got some sort of feathery Zinchian in influences, but they've also got these collars that we saw, and what were those devil dogs that we had? Well, the flesh hounds. The flesh hounds. They had that kind of collar, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. they? The they're, new they're ones. The, yeah, collar of corn, and then these derpy derp things. What yeah. are they called? What are they called? The flangy, fleshy bits that. The flangy, fleshy bits. <laughs> Me. That pop out. Am I going to have to make this an adult video no, again? No, 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 no. It's a thing. You get it on some lizards and stuff. Oh yeah, on lizards, real lizards. Those things. Right. Okay. Um, and the little bit fishy looking the bodies. So it's a proper kind of like chaos beast. So some of these, do they actually fly, or is it just feathers for effect? Just for, Mate, I, I don't know. I yeah, haven't got this box this morning, and I need, to, I? I then, need, need to have a bit of a look there. But yeah, so you get two of those. You get yeah. Oh no, more than that. There's, so there's three different types, isn't there? Or, or is that that? That looks the same as that. That is the same. As, mm, I don't know that it is. No, because these have got harpy bits on. There's entirely harpy, half harpy. Entirely Raptorix. Yeah, it's across the three sprues. It is, John. Is you're gonna have to trust me on that. Oh my god. Well, I like these dudes. You like these dudes. Um, so, not quite sure. We know that these can be wandering monsters in the game, which is one of the kind of missions, um, twists or whatever, is you get wandering monsters. Hmm. But also, I think in the campaign, you can tame them. Really? Yeah. You so, I'm looking pendants. at being Legion and Nagash. I did the unboxing this morning and looked yeah, at the yeah. stat cards. They look like trash, mate. I so, you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna rely on these, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they move three Absolutely. inches a turn. Yeah, but we're on a smaller board. So I mean, this, these things look like they're going to move a lot more than three inches. Possibly. We'll see. Yeah. I like those. So you've got loads to do, bros. Hopefully they'll bring out some more monsters and bits and bobs that can be uh, wandering uh, along with them. Absolutely. So, um, let's put the sprues to one side. Oh! I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty good. We've got a big money. table that we can do war games on. What have we got then? What are we doing? Keep hold of that. You might want to. You're having that one, aren't I'm you? I'm having these. Do you want to tell them? 
I'm going to do in. the Untamed Beasts. The Untamed Beasts. We're going to do a separate video on that quite soon. So you get, as you often find in here, look, you get this nice bit of cardboard. I love those. Separating the sprues from the rest of it with a with bit of art on it. But they've even put it the right way around. It's up, look, it's, so you, it's just got a Warcry logo on there. So you actually, even if this gets damaged, and it does, it usually gets scratched a yeah, bit on the back. That's so it's done a good job in protecting your board there. I've been through and taken the cellophane off a lot of this. You know, that's a nice bit of art. It is the box art, I think, but it's not got all the logos got the and logos stuff on it. it. Yeah. I mean, you're going to, you're going to... Mate, start slapping some of them up. I mean, these things, whatever they are, what are they called? Books yeah. or something? Get rid of them. Right, you get the board out then, John. Yay! I, I love and hate these boards, because every time I open them, I, I feel like I hear a tearing way. sound. They, they open a different way. Okay, so this is a board, similar size to the starter set board for Kill Team. It folds like a lot the starter of comparisons. set. Oh. oh. I've not seen this side. Oh, man, that's a bit busy, that one, isn't it? I quite like that. You like that one? I like that one. I think if I'm painting all them green or, you know, bottle green or blue or whatever. Well, you're going right? to have to do it this sort of colour then, depending on what what's on the other side. What is that sort of a bit pinky? pinky? Pinky. Pinky. sandstone. I think that's just blood spatters on it. All my kill team scenery is kind of Zandri Dustin of Shanty. That's perfect Shanty then. But that looks, I've already got a lot of scenery in these kind of colours, yeah, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That looks interesting. And, um, you know, these boards, you could potentially connect them up and they wouldn't be quite symmetrical. But you would need to fill, because you are OCD on boards. They have to you, match, you, All your walls would have, have to, to follow these, these lines. The yeah, I can't have random. Yeah, the statue would have to go on a dais. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, So I don't like that one because of that fact. <laughs> What's because that? of how John, because you end up playing on the same board every time. Yes, it, because it puts the same that, yeah, bits. Yeah. So this building fits there, this one fits there. Shush. Right, so this is a bit more. This is a bit more open. This I is the one I've seen. seen. This one. A this lot is more. the one with the kind of. So why not doing it this greeny hue? Everyone's doing it in that green. Oh, right. Oh. We look. It might look a bit like a dirty fish tank when we're finished. <laughs> if we don't do a good job. <laughs> That's my concern. That's you got. You got. You got the old cracks. Yeah. So do you know anything about what's supposed? Is this like say in the old world that's all just gone to pot or something? This is all the AOS stuff. Um, from what I hear, there's a there's a tower that they're all fine. It's called the Eight Point. Well, the eight points, or it used to be the, the something point, else, yeah. and it's essentially a tower yeah. where the realm gates connect. Where so you, the, go you know all the, the different realms, the realm of the unicorns and the realm and, of the pink fish and, and the, all that, the bear and the blah blah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Th it's, it's the it's the hub. That's it's the, the whole. Pshh. But chaos went in, dicked it over, and now they've got it, and they've called it the eight star point. Right, eight point, multi point. Right. Whatever. But anyway, these, they're there. The, although these are Chaos Warbands, they don't represent the traditional Chaos Gods. They represent no. aspects oh, of Chaos. There are certainly some of them which have the Clearly, tinge of the yeah, Gods, like yeah. um, those Egyptian ones that come out with this first yeah, Cypher batch. Lords. Cypher Lords. They yeah. look very Zinchian. I mean, yeah. the guys on the front, they're, they're quite corn. a bit corn, aren't they're they? They're a bit corn, um, Blame but it's bit corn. aspects of Chaos. They're, they're a bit much. corn, but they're not necessarily identified as followers of corn as their as their unique element exactly right yeah. but they're all there and they're listening out for archaeon the ever chosen of chaos archaeon the ever chosen for his summoning to go to war essentially so they're all vying for power to just try and just get one step above what are all of these these are the card things i'm getting the paper out look you're getting the paper out these are the card packs then um so these are well, they tell you on the back what they are, but your battle game... Can I open it? Can I open it? Of course you can. So your, your victory condition is random. You have a twist, you have a battlefield set up, and you have a... No, I think I think when I said can a I open map it, and I, a mean, scenario. I mean, was that a general question? Can I, can I open oh, it? Oh, can you, as in, will you succeed? Yeah, that's, that's yeah so look, this is, as I said these before... Ooh, ooh. Um, these, these are, the these are all going to fall out of these containers once you take them out of the wrappers, aren't they? Yeah. I need to get a deck box for these. So, yeah, the idea with this, though, is you have your, you have your four doofers, and you're going like, oh, right, we're playing on this map, and we're playing for this objective, and we're I playing... I like that. I like that idea. And you'll be able to buy extra decks. So if you get a different battlefield, it's going to have a different... This is going to be different, but later on, they can maybe they'll rebalance it, and you'll get new ones of these. Different... Doofus. Have you seen this though? Cool. This is your you this your it. deployment. This is your deployment because you don't bring all of your dude bros on. 
you divide them up into like first, second, and third wave or whatever, and round then it randomizes two. where they come on. So that's on. what that is, round two. Is it, it's shield, sword, and hammer, hammer, or something like that. Yeah, it's a really sweet idea to keep the game fresh. Right. I don't know whether this was ever intended to be like you know, like Kill Team's supposed to be competitive, and Shade Spire is designed for competitive. This feels like hyper casual. This is for like a couple of idiots. Uh, having a few bottles of board. Well, that's lucky, isn't it? Because that is sort of, you know, casual gaming is the thing on this channel. Anyway, let's toss this nonsense to one side and move on to... Well, tell them about the book, way. John, while I fish around in there. Tell the... them about the book. Tell this them about the book. a big old book. chunk of book here. Holy moly. So this is all the rules, bits and bobs, tooth and claw, territory rules. So this covers everything then, right? The narrative phases, triumph and treachery... Not much I can really tell you about it. Getting the loose bits out, the loose bits. Well, I think I think it's worth talking about the art in there, to be honest. I think the art in that book is nice. Especially on the first few pages. I think this has been covered. I've, I've You've got the double page spread. Recently, of a dude that... Damn yeah. you got a copy of this before we did. Yeah, they're doing we're not reviewers. This. They're doing a lot of this. You've got the, the artwork that are on the pages, but they're doing a lot of miniature... Yeah, uh, the, the, the kind of instructions. That, this is very reminiscent of Space Crusade. Is that you move like this, and this is how line of sight works? This is the thing. This yeah. is the thing. These are the bits Why? that are left in the bottom of the box. Look, you've got one of these rule summary sheets. What's in the box? Gosh, mate, why are we doing a video? We just need to hold that up. We just need to hold that up. That's what, literally what you get. What's in the mate, box? Mate, you get some baggies. Baggies are all Baggies are good. good. You get three different colours of dice. You get also, though, mate, the most sinister thing in the world. Do you know what is the unique thing that you're going to get in this? What? Am I able to demonstrate? Faces. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Why, why are we... What, what are we looking at? Well, what are you looking at there, mate? Tell me what you're looking at. you got... 32s. Yeah. 25s. Yeah. And whatever that is. Do you know what I'm saying? What? As a new base size. Is it though? It's 28 mil. Shut up. Why? Literally. Yeah. Because. Why have they done 28 mil? Is that for the monsters? I, I don't know. Because they felt, you know, they could get everybody to rebase all their models probably. They like doing that. <laughs> Um, so, so when you look at some of the models that they've moved on to 32s, there is quite a bit too much space on the base. There but they were a bit tight on space. 25s. 28 might be. Is that, is that the middle ground, is it? It's, it's right? a middle yeah. ground. There you go. Maybe, maybe. The instructions are a lot like a, a lot of the other kind of start kits that they produced recently. They've got this whole kind of process where they said the grey bit is the bit you've already built. The blue bit is the bit you're adding. The yellow bit is what you're gluing on. There is a little bit of customization with these models, but not a lot. And the customization what, what that there is. We're talking like a different head. You could use like, this different head instead. No. More like you can have it as a staff or you can have it as a hammer. Oh. Uh, so they might have a separate one arm that can be changed. Because they're all they're all those sort of computer aided design cuts, a bit like the Blackstone Fortress stuff. They're only in a few pieces. They don't necessarily fit together in a way that you would think of if you built a tactical marine. That was a very busy page there. Whoa, whoa, battle plan generator, boom. So if you don't have these decks, they come you in do have the book. the book. They're in there, yeah, absolutely. There's something nice yeah, about having The instructions are nice, though. It's worth mentioning, as I said before, if you build the scenery exactly as it says in here, you are not going to be able to play on some of these battlefields. Right. And you probably don't want to buy another £100 box. And it may be that, like the Kill Team stuff, you're not going to see this stuff for a while. You know they're going to sell Until you the they, other battlefields. You can get hold yeah. of it at some point, yeah. but it's going to be a little while. So now we move on to the bits that are a bit more troubling. You get six of each of these three colours of dice. Um, putting the instructions to one side. You get all the bases you need. You get the instructions you need. You get a leaflet with a mini version of the picture on. All of that, all of that you probably know. We've got You get your cards uh, that you need to play the game. Tell me about your warbands. We're going to look at the warbands in separate videos. But the things that you don't get that you might think you need. Yes, mate. See, so tokens in Kill Team, you got tokens with a Kill Team. But you can you can play the game without that, though. I feel. You like, can, in Kill you, Team, anyways. You can, but you need a good memory if you're playing uh, with 40 models. Yeah. I, I can't play no. the game without, without <laughs> tokens, mate. I cannot play it. I have a problem with the, uh, like the model that started in combat so they can't ready up. And they, so th there's not a token to say, stand here like an idiot. Yeah, stand here like a idiot. Th that token doesn't exist. Mm. Um, 
because What's I feel... Like right, so one of the tokens falling out. It's in the bottom of the box there. So these are not going to come with the kill teams, or with the war bands. These are going to come in the battlefields. So even if so you manage to avoid buying this starter set, you're going to have to buy, if you want the tokens... I think so. You're going to have to buy one of those. You're going to have to buy one of those. I mean, it may be like with Kill Team, for the next month, they're quite scarce. And that six months from now, everybody's going to have four sets of them. Yeah. It could be like that. They may sell these separate. I think they did with Necromunda. You could just buy the tokens and you could just buy the dice. And, maybe and you do need three different colours of dice. Again, do you need it? Well, because of the way the initiative works, I should have got all the dice out, really. But you roll all of your dice and you're looking for doubles and triples. But then you have wild dice that you can add into that, you see, and pick the numbers. So you kind of need three different colours to actually play the game. You kind of need the tokens to play the game. Where have I seen that mechanic used before? In another game. Well, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> what, I mean, I'm Silver a, Tower or something. Uh, yeah, Silver Tower. Quite possibly. Silver Tower's the one. Yeah, quite possibly. You've got um, skills that are activated via the medium of whatever the hell you've got the on the dice. The medium of light. Ooh. So with the, with the beast, you know, if you want to transplit this with a friend uh, or whatever... Okay, so maybe one person gets the board. You're not getting very far with half the scenery, I'll say that much. Although there's a lot there, you need to not glue it all together if you want to play all of the missions yeah. that there already yeah. are, yep. let alone that. Until you know more about the game, those beasts are wandering monsters, but you can tame them and have, have them in your warband. But do you need all of the beasts that it comes with to be able to play at all if you end up drawing that card? Who knows? So those things, you know, people people might be making some... And I don't know the answer to that question, unfortunately. Not yet. Which is why we thought we'd look at the warbands. We might do some unboxings of those little those little kits and as, as we get them. But fundamentally, I think we'll look at the warbands from a review purpose when we've a bit more of an idea about the game. Yeah, I'd like that. I, I really would like to see this on the table. So, in a so what's, your, what's your plan going forwards, John? I mean, we're, we're we going forwards. about war bands. We've got the box here. Yep. Um, everyone's yep. seen the other war bands, haven't yep. they? So, but I'm going to take the Untamed Beasts because they're yep. pretty slick. I think you get a dog, John. You do get a doggy. You get it's a bit liony. A sabre tooth. But I need thing. that for you to make me a He-Man because that's his oh! dog. Oh, you want him? Okay, I'll paint it green with the yellow stripes, yeah. whatever it was. Other people have done it. It might oh, have even been memed by now. Oh, mate. But it will take quite a big fella on the back, yeah. People have, um, what was he called? Battle Cat. Battle Cat. Have they people already have done Battle it? Cat that up. Yeah, mate. I've seen two of them this oh, morning. Oh, boo. <laughs> and anybody that had one painted this morning got this set a long time before. Um, they must have. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do this. You're not going to do it now, you know, it's already been done. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to do my own Can you get Space Marine on the back of that? Give me a he man. I can get one of my beakies, my get RTB beaky ones on. on there. Sorry, RTB zero ones. On RTB zero one. Um, zero one. I'm gonna do these. I want to paint these up. Yeah. I'm gonna use the medium with contrast because you, I'm quite. You're getting into them. contrast, aren't you? I am. But you still edge highlight. I didn't think I would like them. Yes, I do. Yeah. You did edge highlight. And I've still obviously got to complete the damn thing before I base them. Have you not heard of washes and dry brush? Jeff? Look. All right. I'm a mug. So yeah. I thought mm -hmm. I'm going to invest heavily. You're going for contrast paint, and then you're going to edge high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, I don't know how different that is from just painting. It's not really. <laughs> it's not really. Any different. <laughs> I love that. It's a little bit quicker. <laughs> is it? Because you don't. You're not using a wash. I'm finding it's a little bit quicker. You knock right. out one step. Right. Anyways, I'm doing okay. the untamed beast. What I'm are you going to do, Michael? What I'm going to do? Well, I'm, I'm getting a. I did. I done an unboxing of that legions and a gash. Like, um, so you're going to rock back. it up with the skelly bobs? I've got my mantic skeletons that are already painted. Cheat, They're cheating. not based. Because I want the crow dudes. Yes. But no, I'm no, also yeah. painting the scenery for most of the people we know to play this game. That's I've got to start take, a kit. Uh, a fair bit of it your took time. me about three days with the kill team stuff to build it all and then stick it together. And then paint it. And you've got to be extra attentive and careful that you don't glue bits that you shouldn't glue. If we're going to be playing it straight out of the box. Or, or look cards. on eBay to buy a few extra bits, I think. Just in case. Just in case, yeah. It's bound to um, be some. I think we could talk about, I mean, we could talk about how the game's played, but we don't We don't especially know, and we're going to be playing it soon. I find this 28 mil base troubling emotionally, to be honest. I'm not sure how I can cope with that. But that's, <laughs> if there was something about the kind of chaos nature of this. That's what it they're is. They're in the like. new base that they're just secreting it's, in. It's the chaos. So there's no big news about that. It's like, whoa, the 32 mil base is a big thing. You, you Am I going to have to rebase 300 Cadians onto a 28 mil base yes. within the next yep, few because years? they're obsolete. I think I might, and I'm not happy about that idea. <laughs> okay, guys, that was our first look at Warcry. 
We're going to get some videos out pretty soon, um, aren't we, Jim? I bleeding hope so, sir. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, man, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready?